Hello Pirates, uh, welcome to another episode of Base Clinic. I have a series of videos about how to improve your base and today I will be talking about the overall planning for turrets in your base, how you plan your defense to win or at least do some significant damage to attackers. On the flip side, I'll be also showing attackers how to plan for an effective conqueror hull to get inside bases. So we're going to talk a little bit about this video is not an in-depth explanation of each turret. It assumes you kind of understand each turret and the specials you put in them. It's more about the big planning that goes in it. So let's get right into it. First of all, you got to know what you have. So if you have a base outpost level 10, you have 24 turrets. Each one of them can have three specials, one transformer, three arms. Many of these specials will work to increase the damage, the reload, and chances of critical hit of your turrets. You also have two portals, and each portal has room for two turrets each, but the problem then you have no transformers, only one armor and one special. So the turrets you put in the portal will be less effective than the other turrets. There's also a power limitation in there. If you have outpost level 10, you should also be looking into level 7 turrets because not only they are the most powerful, but they also have this tier 7 bonus, which is grouped by damage type. Okay, so up to 8 stacks, more than just having a random collection of tier 7 turrets, if you have choices, you've got to first complete a set, and the set is made of 8 turrets. So Penetrative turrets, there are three, the Vulture 2, the Executioner 2, and the Halo 2. And you can have anywhere from two to four of these turrets. They're all limited blueprints, so you've got to redeem them multiple times. All the turrets in my list, they are order of range. So the Vulture is the shortest range, more damage. The Executioner is the mid-range, mid-damage. And the Halo is the long-range, low-damage. So no matter how many of each you have, you got to have eight to maximize the bonus. And that bonus means more damage. Ideally, for instance, on the penetrative turrets, you'd have four executioners and either four vultures or two vultures and two halos. Then you maximize the bonus. Ballistic, again, three turrets from shorter to longer range. Blunderbuss, two. Howitzer, six. Javelin 2. You can also have, uh, you should have up to 8 of them. Don't build more than 8 is a waste. It's not going to stack more bonuses and it makes your base vulnerable. If all you can do is one damage type, then it's easy to have a fleet to break your base. Okay, good bases, they deal multiple damage types. Explosive turrets, uh, Kixai started releasing them. We don't have all eight, we only have four. So we don't have a short range turret for explosive, but we have the Code Snap 2 as a mid range turret at 191 range. And we have the Catastrophic Mortar, long range. And right now you can have two of each. I expect Kixai to release either increase the limit you can redeem on those two or release the new short range turret that's missing. So you can have a whole group of eight and maximize the explosive tier seven bonus. Radioactive, it's another group they just started. Right now we only have the short range turret for that, the largest on two. We don't have a mid range, we don't have a long range. So that group right now it's limited to only two turrets. You have them all pictured in there. So your base should primarily have those, and that's in total 22 turrets. The typical winning tactic today is you pick, you make your group of eight penetrative turrets, you make a group of eight ballistic turrets, and because the factions favoring these turrets are either forsaken for ballistic or legion for penetrative, you pick one of these two factions for your base. That's gonna give extra 20% damage to the turrets of either penetrative type or ballistic type. You get either four howitzers or a combination of howitzers and 
executioners in the central island and you surround them by fire support to fuse up to five of them that's the maximum stack you can have okay so thinking about that you build eight ballistic eight penetrative now you have only eight turrets left plus four from the portal that's where you're going to mix the rest four explosive two radioactive some elite countermeasures some adder turrets some a glacial turret an anti-rocket turret up to you okay what's going to happen going forward is you're going to make a choice and whenever kickside completes the radioactive and the explosive groups you can only have three complete groups with 24 turrets and each group being eight from all the six damage types assuming eventually they're going to have a corrosive set of turrets and a concussive set of turrets you're going to have to pick three and roll with that and then pick the factions that match one of your three groups to calculate damage, I strongly recommend you use the turret calculator. You can find that uh, through the Forsaken Council website or the ahoymiharty.co.uk. Uh, you have the URL in there. And that's what I use to calculate using the fire supports and the faction and the specials and everything, the damage type. To summarize, if you'd want to do all the work, here's some basics for you. When planning your defense, this is the maximum damage you can get per projectile in, for each turret. My assumptions on this table are you're always maxed up in terms of turrets in a group. So if they stick in white, penetrative in yellow, you have the maximum amount. So the first two have eight, this one only two, and the last group of explosive four turrets. That's accounted for in that damage. I'm also assuming, worst case, all of them have DAT transformers. Not always the best choice, but let's just, for sake of the example, assume they all have the AT transformer plus 35% damage. These numbers are also already taken into account that every attacking ship that deserves the name will have 50% turret defense. And when you see two numbers, that means normal hit and critical hit. So the Vulture normally, with the, just the right specials and the AT transformer, will deal 921,000 damage. If your ship is below 50% health, it can trigger a critical hit and double the damage. The Executioner and the Halo, for instance, they don't have a critical damage feature or, or special. So it's only one number. For the Phlogiston, the second number, it's not a critical, it's the shockwave. If it triggers a shockwave, that's the damage you're taking with the right specials. Well, use this table to plan your defense and plan your attack. I mean, when you're putting armors and weapons and stuff on your conquerors, think about it, okay? Uh, if the base you're going to attack is forsaken, then the ballistic turrets will be here, worst case, at maximum damage if they have all the fire support. The penetrating will not because we don't have the right faction, so worst case, they're going to be here with five fire support shoot. Meaning the radioactive and the explosive as well, worst case will be here, but not all turrets can have fire, fire support. So some will be here, some will be down here, just the specials and no faction. In my example, you're going to attack a forsaken base and then you look at the central island and they have a mix of Hoitzer 6 and Executioner 2 surrounded by five fire support shoot. All other turrets are scattered around the base in the entrance as a bubble pad, so they're not surrounded by five fire support tube. So if you look at my table, that means, okay, Forsaken, how is an exact with five fire support? So howitzers are at max damage here. Worst case, you're going to take 3,800 damage per shot. The Executioner, worst case, you're taking 1669 per shot. The rest of the turrets are not as bad. I mean, if you can take 3.8 million damage in a shot, you can certainly take 1.9 or 1.7. Uh, the flourish on now, you've got to worry because that shockwave can really hurt you. But other than the shockwave, you're going to be taking 275,000. The cold snap and the catastrophic, not really much. So let's see if this ship is well built for that base. 5 million ballistic deflection check you're gonna win against 3.8 million 2 million penetrative so 1.8 is the worst case or 1.6 in the long range this one you usually can outrange so you're good 
Explosive 105. You're good here too, right? 46, 45, no problem. And what else do we have? Radioactive, uh, 275. So you're right where you should be for the regular shock. But if a shockwave blasts you, it's going to take a huge chunk of your health. So you've got to mind the shockwave here. No corrosive turrets here. I'm not counting any, but you have some 64K. So even like an adder turret won't damage you much. Concussive, you have enough to avoid the Omega weapon. So yeah, I'd say that ship overall against this base will do well. Not looking at the guard ships, just the turrets. And I mentioned Omega weapon, so just keep that in mind. There are three. They are not mitigated by turret resistance and there are no specials that can increase them. Fire support, nothing like that. So it's what you see is what you get. Gatling gun, 53,000 concussive per projectile. Motion cannon, 403,000 per shot. It's one single projectile per shot. Omega Pyro rockets, 130,000 per projectile. So going back to that ship, with these three numbers in mind, 53, 403, 130. So 403 ballistic, you have 5 million, you're good. 53 concussive, you have 169, you're good. What was the other one? Explosive, 130. You have 105, so that one's going to hurt you a little bit, you know. Maybe splash damage reduction can help you, but let's say it doesn't. You're, you're going to take about 25k per shot that hits you full, right? Um, so maybe you up explosive a little bit by changing an armor or by putting another missile here. Your call. Just using that as an example. I use this ship as a tank. It does fairly well against a lot of bases. Of course, the wrong base will kill you. Wrong from an attacker point of view, right from a defender point of view. But overall, it does fairly well. I hope this was helpful. If you are looking for older turrets, I have more videos in the base clinic series explaining the older turrets. And uh, I hope this was a helpful explanation. Subscribe to my channel and see you next time, pirates. Have a great day.